Welcome to our lecture online. Another great... <laughs> I kind of lost it here. Let me try this again. Welcome to our lecture online. Another helpful tool is being able to add sinusoidal functions that have different amplitudes. They have the same... Oh. <laughs> Ooh, I need more coffee. All right, C, let's try this again. I forgot what C is equal to times the... Oh, oh man, man. Let me start over. Let me Welcome start over. to our electron line. Another great tool to have at your disposal is knowing how to add sinusoidal functions, especially when their amplitudes are not the same. When A and B is not equal, how do you add these two together? Well, it turns out that's going to be equal to C times the cosine of omega t minus the phase angle. Now, the question is, what is C equal to and what is that phase angle equal to? Well, first of all, c can be found by taking the square root of the sum of the squares of the amplitudes of the two functions. So this would be a squared plus b squared. And secondly, to find the phase angle, that will be equal to the arctangent of the ratio of b over a. And of course, we do have to take into account the signs of b and a if they're positive or negative. So as an example, because it's nothing like a good example to show you how to apply that, let's go ahead and add these two functions together. Notice that a and b are not the same. So in this case, we know that that's going to be equal to c times the cosine of omega t minus the phase angle. So first we need to find c, and c is going to be equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. Well, a is 2 and b is a negative 3, but since we're squaring it, the sign doesn't matter. So this will be equal to 4 plus 9, which is equal to the square root of 13. And of course, if you want a decimal number for that, square root of 13 would be 3.6. 3.6, so this would be equal to 3.6 times the cosine of omega t, now the phase angle. So the phase angle can be found by saying phi is equal to the inverse tangent of b over a. Now in our case, b is a negative 3, and a is a positive 2. So we take 1.5, make that negative, take the inverse tangent of that, and we get a minus 56.3 degrees. That's equal to a minus 56.3 degrees. And of course, since we're subtracting the phase angle, this becomes plus 56.3 degrees, and here that would be the answer of our simple example. But again, it's handy to have at your disposal when you need to add two sinusoidal functions that have a different amplitude, and that's how it's done.